Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading this week, uh, Capricorn. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, Capricorn... Oh. Honey, I just dropped your tarot card. <laughs> if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you, if I don't just drop them all, uh, Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, Capricorn, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, uh, Capricorn, as well. Uh, if you enjoy this tarot reading, Capricorn, or you just enjoy my vibe, I really would appreciate it. Uh, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Um, and before we get into this uh, weekly reading for you today, Capricorn, I just want to remind you that when it comes to my tarot readings, to use your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Capricorn. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it. When it comes to my tarot readings, they're just here to give us some um, food for thought, perspective to consider as you go throughout your week, uh, Capricorn, but never making the decision in your life because it's your, because it's your life to live, not, my, not mine, not mine, not these tarot cards, honey. So... All that being said, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. I also just want to say that I got my uh, eyebrow pierced the other week or last week. And so <laughs> if you're wondering what's going on here, app apparently you can like get a black eye, my piercer told me, from getting your eyebrow pierced. And so uh, it's in the process I'm having some bruising here. And so that's what's going on, Capricorn, if you are wondering as I like go in y'all's face. Um, <laughs> so I pulled some tarot cards already. Capricorn, just so I could get an idea of what's going on for you this week, just so I could get an idea of your journey right now. And you guys got the King of Air, Capricorn. This card says, seek your mind or speak your mind with confidence, uh, seek out professional advice and balance your emotional and mental considerations. And so Capricorn, with the King of Air, it's one of my favorite cards, not my favorite cards, it's one of my favorite kings. It is probably my favorite king that no one asked, but for the reason that this is the time that this, usually with this card, it brings a lot of comfort to people just because um, if you're usually in your head, Capricorn, or if you feel like that you're making like the wrong decision on something, or if you are worried that you're like spiraling, for example, Capricorn, this card will come forward to, as like a message of comfort, um, because this is, lets me know that you are, whenever this card comes forward, it just lets me know that you have a, a balanced perspective, uh, you're not really reacting to things, uh, you're thinking things through, and maybe even just considering perspective, right, you just, um, you're not allowed, allowing your emotions uh, get the best of you in this time. You're very analytical. Um, and so for my Capricorns, I've been having like, you know, maybe you have been in your head uh, recently, Capricorn, and feeling as if like you're making like the wrong decisions or maybe, you know, no, just basically this the card comes in as like getting out of your head, Capricorn. Uh, continue speaking your truth, even if people or situations are making you feel crazy or otherwise you're not being crazy. Um, you're seeing something, Capricorn, that other people are not seeing. You're understanding things from a level that other people just are not are understanding them, right? And so I pulled some clarifying cards for you. Capricorn for that King of Air or King of Swords in normal tarot. By the way, we have the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands in normal tarot. This card says, don't give up, protect that which you've created, um, have courage and believe in yourself. So this is two cards right here. Uh, Capricorn really asking for you to stand your ground essentially, right? Um, what it is that you're feeling, what it is that you're doing, what it is that you're speaking, uh, Capricorn, you're not crazy for it. Like, you're really getting such affirming cards, Capricorn, of being like, no, like, what it is that you're doing is right. Like, so it does lead me to believe, Capricorn, that you have like some situations in your life that are 
kind of like getting in your head for some reason. Like you know, it feels like when spirit has to really affirm this message um, that something's trying to get into your head and have you thinking that uh, you're not making like smart decisions or what have you, uh, Capricorn. It does show to me that this is like a week or you have been just in this progression, uh, Capricorn, of like really being challenged, like for just like your thoughts and decisions. It feels like you can't make any decision or you can't say anything without having to defend why it is that you feel whatever way or why it is you do or said or what have you. Um, and it always feels like you have to find a reason to justify things. Um, and then we get into the Six of Water or the Six of Cups in Roman Tarot for you, Capricorn. This is a card uh, that says memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, uh, romanticizing the past, and I feel like this is the card of where it's like really addressing like, for some of you Capricorns, it just feels like you're uh, looking back on certain things and you're just like, oh, this wasn't normal or it's like this behavior, this treatment, this what have you, this isn't right, this isn't okay. And so for some of you Capricorns, it does feel like you are like vocalizing this and you're just like, hey, or at the very least you're experiencing these emotions where you're just acknowledging, you're just like something that happened to you, you're just like, oh, that wasn't quite okay or what have you. You're just reflecting on this and just being like, speaking on just in like <laughs> how many times can i say like but with this king of air it's like let's say there we go again let's say you and i because i like to speak better in examples uh capricorn let's just say you and i are like friends and then um i did something to you that upset you like last month right i hurt your feelings and then when you addressed it to me i was like uh Capricorn, get over yourself, right? And then we didn't talk about it. Now you, you're reflecting on it and you're just like, well, that actually was not okay, right? And I don't actually want to get over it, right? Um, and so I see with you, you're kind of like opening up to this. You're trying to have a conversation about it as the Ace of Water or the Ace of Cups, the normal Tarot, where you're just like, this wasn't okay. Like, no, we need, this isn't over. And so rather than getting in your head and be like, oh, I'm being too emotional about this. Oh, like what have you. Um, or maybe someone's got like, maybe I would be the one gaslighting you and be like, oh no, like we don't need to, like, why are you still on that? If you're still on this, why are you trying to create issues or what have you, right? Um... With this ace of water here, I feel I see you trying to um, get closure in this situation. I see you just trying to. It's like you're really trying to understand Capricorn something. You're trying to understand things and see it from a different perspective, and really challenging yourself. But I don't really see it happening, right? I see this kind of this resistance here, Capricorn, or just because it's like. It's one of those things you probably feel like you're in a twilight zone, almost Capricorn, where it's just like you're calling something out and be like, this isn't normal, but everyone else is acting like it's normal. And it's just like, well, are, you're wondering, it's just like, are you the crazy one? And I don't think you're the crazy one, Capricorn. I just kind of feel like people are kind of uh, just not understanding it on the depth that you're understanding it and seeing things from. So, yeah, let's see uh, what advice we can get for my Capricorn this week. What advice can we get for Capricorn this week? <clears throat> Let's see here. I want to do one more card, I think, Capricorn. One more card we got, honey. All right. So the advice that we can have give for Capricorn this week, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, with the Devil card. All right. So kind of being telling you Capricorn is these cards are telling you to continue being a little bit confrontational well I don't want to say it's con telling you to continue being confrontational Capricorn I feel like I guess that would be kind of irresponsible of me right but in this situation here it's like you're not pretending that you don't see the devil uh <laughs> right whatever the devil is for you could be a person could be a situation could be whatever whatever is just like the devil in your life um you're not going to be able to just ignore it and pretend like it's not there, pretend like it's not happening, uh, Capricorn. I kind of see you 
being forced to, well, not being forced to, but I'm being told, well, not being told, Tarot is telling me, we'll say rather, to, with this ace of wands here and be like, no, you need to address this. No, you can't just uh, slide this to the, under the rug. You can't just pretend like it's going to improve or what have you. You're just like, no, we need to have a conversation about it. And we need to have the conversation like yesterday almost right with this ace of wands here um and here's the thing with this queen of pentacles uh this is where it's just like it's for your best interest this is what's going to bring peace to you so do whatever you need to do that will bring uh, peace and be for your betterment as the queen of pentacles so if this devil doesn't want to have the conversation to rectify the devil right um, if the devil doesn't want to fix themselves, honey, that doesn't mean that you continue feeding energy into it. It means then you just like, like you choose to remove that devil, right? This is a time where you address the devil in whatever way, whether it's through having that uncomfortable conversation or whether it's you just walking away because the queen of pentacles isn't afraid of being alone and by herself, right? She's completely content and at peace just with herself. And because it's like, she chooses not to have devils in her life. She has no space for devils in her area right Capricorn and you don't either and I think you need to remind yourself of that and just because you're not interested in allowing devils in your life Capricorn does not mean that you are being too emotional it doesn't mean you're being too needy it doesn't mean you're being a diva it doesn't mean anything right it just means that you have a standard certain standard for how like behaviors that you accept or certain things that you accept in your life and uh whatever that devil is just isn't part meeting that standard understandably right Capricorn so yeah it's really just a that spread there is really just giving a lot of reassurance to y'all in that you're Capricorn you're not crazy right two of cups did come flying out for you guys so really affirming this message of where it's like I definitely do feel like it's coming in strongly with a person so at the very least it's something that's intimate right with that two of cups but I'll put that back in there interesting though very very interesting capricorn so now let's get into the blessings for you that are in the that is in the works for capricorn this week what are the blessings this week happening for capricorn let's see here all right all righty capricorn so these the three cards that we have for the blessings that are in the works for you this week we have the queen of coins following you we have the six <laughs> oh i don't mean to laugh in like <laughs> a bad way capricorn we have the six of swords and then we have the empress card <laughs> i'm laughing because the story kind of spells it out itself and it's a repetitive message um, and it's just so interesting to me how it's literally all the earth signs got like a similar message and where like the blessing coming to hand for them would be not something that most people would probably consider a blessing. They would probably consider it a uh, inconvenience, uh, almost Capricorn. <laughs> so you're really, this week is really going to be a week where it's just like, you're going to be moving away from things, right? The six of swords here, you're going to be getting distance between you and this devil here that we were talking about capricorn right so whatever happens is by the end of this week honey you're getting closure on this right and so and you're going to be putting distance between you and that right with this empress card here this is really your energy at this time capricorn of where it's just like you're in this place of just really listening to the universe not taking things personally right you're really uh, focused on just giving birth to your dreams. You're focused on just growth, just overall, truly, Capricorn. You're not really worried and concerned about the details of like the dramas of things and all of that, right? You're just really in this place of just focusing on betterment. And again, I don't see you having any place with that devil. Like you just don't have any time or energy just to be dealing with like, um, toxic lower vibrational energies right i know it's such like catchphrases for uh tarot readers to say or spiritual people in general to be saying but truly it just feels like you don't have the time to be uh dealing with like heavy energy anymore um and then with the queen of pentacles coming in following you again i mean it's just like come on like this message kind of spells it out itself of where you are not um 
yeah, you're just doing with what be is best for you. And here's the thing as well, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles is a card of um, someone that's extremely self-sufficient as well. Again, you don't need anybody in your life, right? You don't need to, there's not one singular person or situation that you need to allow in your life that's not good for you because you, you're in a place in your life where it's just like you don't need them. And I feel like those like those situations kind of know that that you don't need them either and so yeah uh very very interesting for you capricorn now i kind of want to see capricorn for you guys i just feel inclined to pull a few more cards for y'all let's see here do one more. All right, Capricorn. So we have the Six of Wands for you with the Eight of Swords and then the Page of Pentacles. So you, there's definitely victory here, uh, Capricorn, but I do see you needing to get out of this situation of where you're feeling constrained in some way. There's definitely feeling like something that you're some type of situation capricorn that it feels like you're dimming your light for in some way or playing yourself down um maybe you're even like this um <laughs> like this burp's really trying to come out and i'm suppressing it honey um maybe there's like the sense of where you're suppressing your voice in some way capricorn um because i do feel like with this page of pentacles here uh i do kind of get this sense capricorn where it's just like you kind of don't want to or there's just kind of been this avoidance uh almost capricorn of like calling out the elephant in the room or speaking about the things that are bothering you or the speaking about um yeah i get this sense cap i i <laughs> i don't know and maybe i could be completely off you know off the chain with this capricorn but i really get this sense here of where <sighs> with this devil i kind of just get the sense of like you by you trying to get out of like getting rid of this devil in your life and putting distance between you and this devil in your life i really do get the sense where it's just like it feels like it's just so deep rooted in you capricorn and that's been why it's so hard for you to separate yourself from it um it just feels so deep rooted in the sense that once you start detaching from it there's going to be something that really either triggers in yourself or just like triggers if there's other people involved in the situation right um that just gets you that triggers you and then starts getting in your head and being like oh should i do this am i making the right decisions on this right um and maybe yeah i don't know it just gets this sense of where it's just like it feels like for some of you guys you might feel like you're being crazy about it but here's the thing i feel like this is just one of those like it's like what do they call it uh capricorn where it's just like stockholm syndrome or something like that where it's just like uh you're dealing with like a really cr uh, cruddy situation and you start convincing yourself that like that's just normal and just like what have you um but here's the thing like you're just destined for so much more capricorn you deserve so much more and the six of wands confirms that with this this is kind of like a card of just victory and i feel like you shouldn't feel bad about asking for more and feel bad you shouldn't feel bad about asking to be treated better right maybe that's not going to resonate with anybody but i do feel i just felt really inclined to uh speak that message capricorn so now let's just get into the crystal of the week for you guys uh capricorn for my capricorns that are searching for a crystal or stone just to work with this week we have celeste number 15 equaling to number six in numerology capricorn so write down the number six to look up at a later point if you would like just to see uh how the number or resonates with you during this week and then with this reading uh correlates with the reading rather but with celestite i have celestite actually somewhere around here 
but celeste is the stone i don't know too much about so i always am going to suggest you to look up the metaphysical benefits or the properties of the stone just so you can see how all it would be helpful in your life but i know celeste is really helpful for um uh, for a dream retention, uh, Celeste is really uh, good for as well uh, dealing with the throat chakra. So it's very funny how you had how I was saying before about speaking your truth, um, being like in your head about speaking the truth. But uh, yeah, look up Celeste. This is the stone that would be really uh, beneficial for you this week that you could really uh, utilize. So if you have it, then it's perfect. Or if you're just looking for a new stone to add to your collection, then consider Celeste. But uh, that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you. Give this reading a like and subscribe. And then also, Capricorn, I do the weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Capricorn. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, honey, uh, be sure to send them their zodiac tarot reading video. Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, uh, my beautiful Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.